Good afternoon, UDA. I'm Mateo, reporting for Trojan News Network. Attention students wanting a parking pass. There are two forms that need to be filled out. The first form needs to be filled out by a parent or guardian in the parent portal. The second form needs to be filled out by the student in the student portal. Reminder to students wishing to ride the activity bus. You will need to sign up in the office by 12.30 p.m. every day. Attention students, please consider joining the School Counseling Google Classroom for helpful tips from the guidance office. Counselors will be sharing lots of information regarding colleges, careers, financial aid and scholarships, as well as study habits, mental health resources, and other ideas to make your time here at UDA successful. The code to join is B C X U X G F. Winter sports signups are now open on your iPad. If you are interested in playing a winter sport, please sign up on your iPad now for important information and paperwork regarding your sport. Winter sports include boys and girls basketball, wrestling, winter cheer, archery, and bocce. In sports action over the weekend, the football team hosted Lion Mountain for its first home game of the season. After a scoreless first quarter, the Eagles would strike first when Jacob Feast would score from 15, 15 yards out to give Lion Mountain the early 7-0 lead. The Trojans would strike back when Tyler Cleveland hit Hayden Harner on an 8-yard slant, followed by Chance Crawford's, Crawford's push pass to Kyle Kasner for the 2-point conversion to give UDA an 8-7 lead. Lion Mountain would retake the lead 13-7 when Feast would scamper 10 yards for his second touchdown of the evening. The Eagle defense would then get into the action when Cameron Smeltz would take it to the house on a botched handoff. The Eagles wouldn't look back as they would go on, on to win this one, 46-22. Chance Crawford was the Trojans' leader on offense as he carried the ball 11 times for 92 yards and added 11 receptions for 95 yards. Christian Snyder led the defense with 11 tackles. The Trojans fall as 0-2 on the year and will host 0-2 Susquehanna this coming Friday night. Football t the volleyball team made the trek to Mifflin County on Saturday to take on the Class 6A Huskies team. The Trojans would find themselves behind the eight ball once again down two sets to none. However, the Lady Trojans would once again come together and win three straight sets to improve to 5-0 on the season. Eileen Nestor led the way with seven kills, six digs, and two blocks. Congratulations, girls, on another hard-fought victory. The girls will be back in action on Thursday when they head to Mifflin Town to take on the Juniata Indians. In sports action this evening, our junior varsity football team will be traveling to Lion Mountain to take on the Eagles. For lunch on Tuesday, we will be having macaroni and cheese with sliced bread, steamed broccoli, stewed tomatoes, and low-fat milk. That's a wrap for TNN. Thanks for tuning in today. Have a wonderful evening, and remember, in the Trojan Nation, we rise together.